as Techabyte in here. And if you're just joining us or if you're from YouTube in the future, um, we are just playing Tell Me Why. And here's the results from the last one. So Allison was very happy that Tyler accepted Eddie's piece of offering. Uh, to accept the ring. I mean, there's a reason why I accepted the ring. The first reason is simply I did it for her. Also, it's actually a spiritual bonding thing. It's like a, uh, it's like an Eskimo tribal thing. That's why it's like a, it's a bonded bond. It's like a protection spell based thing or whatnot. Um, ceremonial, if you will. Uh, Ellison was delighted to solve the prince's uh, riddle without her brother or with her brother. Okay. Um, let's see him. Tyler felt unrecognized by Allison's lack of trust at the store. Um, I mean, that makes sense. Chose his her memory. I didn't, I didn't know you could choose a memory. That's new. Tyler was reassured of his bond to Allison uh, when she decided with him at the station. I mean, yeah, you would side with your brother. I mean, yeah, makes sense. Uh, Tyler protected himself against Sam's aggression. Didn't call out Sam. No reason to call out Sam. It's only going to make a hostile situation. Uh, Tessa shut down after the twins about... Marianne, um, didn't get an answer to learn the truth. I, w I might do uh, learn the uh, the truth next time, and I'll make like a skit for that. But um, I accidentally tagged it. I chose the wrong one. I should do the uh, tell her about the camp thing, probably. Sided with Tyler? Of course. Of course I did. Let's refresh that. So what now? Well, he's obviously not going to give us the truth. So I say we go get it ourselves. Wait. You're not seriously thinking of breaking and entering a police archive. Go big or go home. Indeed. Go big or go home. I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. Chapters continue. Once upon a time, in a deep and ancient forest, there lived a pair of crafty goblins. Aww, the goblins. The crafty goblins did everything together. Until one day, when darkness overwhelmed the big wooden house in which they lived. Blamed for the darkness, Brother Goblin was forced to leave the forest while his sister had to stay behind. Ten years later, they were finally reunited. And together, they decided to confront the darkness in the big wooden house. Though they sought the help of their friends in the forest, they found that no one wanted to delve into the long gone past. Oh, so all those those animals represent people alone in the woods, trying to discover why darkness had submerged the big wooden house. We should play Compass and North Star in the woods. Be sure to wear your hat then. <laughs> you be sure to.
sure to wear your hat. <laughs> All right, who wants ice cream? Me! Eat up. Without a word, she went out and buried the tiara in the ground beneath the sapling. And as the final scoop of dirt fell, the tiara felt truly gone. And with it, the final link to her old self. She could only go forward and find a new place for herself in this world, where she was no longer truly a princess in a tiara and a beautiful gown, but a wan woman, alone in a deep and ancient wood. And that was how the princess lost her most precious treasure, and her title. I don't like that story. There were no goblins, and it was depressing. We won't read it again. I love you, Mom. Not me. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> love you, Mom. Mwah. I love you, too. Sleep well and dream, my doves. What a waste. Oh. Allison! Ollie! Allison, help! Oh, no. What the hell? There's so much repression. What the hell? He repressed her stabbing her? Does she even know? What is happening? I killed mom. I killed her. Family secret. Just when you thought it was the end. <laughs> Oh, feel like being a kid again. Get him. Hell of a fight.
Oh no. Get pillowed. Get him. Got him. So I do have to say about this game, I really enjoy so many different themes with this, uh, this story. Really well made. Ain't opened the book yet. Does he read what the fuck is he even about? Here would be or the teachings of our lives, you know? And instead, we've spun off a whole miserable prequel trilogy. <laughs> yeah. Trauma. It's the best, isn't it? Okay. No. We're not letting ourselves do this again. Come on. Up. My numbing labor's a great way to forget your troubles. Uh, can't we just have coffee instead? No. <laughs> On your feet, soldier. Can we do both? Let's take a break from packing and sort out the furniture. Mm. If we get enough done, I'll drive you into town and buy you a gallon of ice cream. Sounds good to me. Mint chocolate chip, two gallons. Let's do this. That's good enough for me. Trash. <laughs> wow. Just the door. Trash. Keep. Dollar sign is donate or so. As far as the eye can trash. see. By the way, I cleared out most of the stuff in the bathroom this morning, but I left you the toilet. How very generous of you. Everywhere I look, there's just stuff, stuff, and more stuff. Mary and the magpie. Hello, ancient broken down machines. That will be the future owner's problem. <sighs> Boop. Trash. Trash that to just knock it all down. Trash. If it's all trash, you don't really worry about it. What to do with this? Keep trash. Sell. Maybe someone would be willing to refinish it. Yeah, it's a nice table. People would like literally buy that by the thousands. Like antique places? Damn. Um what? What's this doing down here? Is that gum? <laughs> uh, I guess that was probably me. <laughs> <laughs> Just left it there. I completely forgot we had a pet vole for a few days. Poor volcano. Aww. She was in rough shape when we found her. Good thing Marianne actually knew what she was doing with these wildlife. 
Hold on, I'll I'll I guess it's finally time to take these pictures down. I'll deal with you in a minute, trauma. All right. To do with them. Uh, I don't want them. Half memory. I mean, most of them are pretty happy memories. I guess. You look cute here. That's not me. I mean, it is, but Don't worry, I get it. But not really. I get it. It's just weird seeing myself like that again. Damn. It's a memento. I think a picture could throw me like this anymore. Has therapy helped at all? Oh, yeah, definitely. My therapist really heard me when I said I was a guy. And she helped me get ready for the reactions I'd get, you know? It's dealing with other people that's been way harder than figuring myself out. At the end of the day, being able to look in the mirror and see Tyler that's made the biggest difference, which is why I'm scheduling my top surgery as soon as we sell this house. No more putting a binder on every morning. God, that sounds fucking amazing. Yeah, totally. Just so you know, I'll be there to help out when you do. Whatever you need. <laughs> Thanks. All right. What's your verdict, Ronan? You know what? I'll keep a few to remind us how far we've come. Yeah, aggression, you know? It's always good to see your progression. The fact that they call her Mary Ann is and not mom. The trauma. Yeah, yeah, like straight up, they just don't call her mom. Like, I noticed that the first time they mentioned it. I was like, I was like, they even see her as a mother? Like, the fuck? That's why I was like, are they orphans? Like, are they a foster kid? That's why I questioned oh, man. that. I love this one. And then to find out, yeah, they just don't call her mom because of that event. They don't see her as a mother. Because Marianne was sticking a camera in your face? Come on, smile. Like I was... Where are you, trauma? Where are you, trauma? There you are. There's the trauma. Now turn it into comedic value. Finish your salad first. Thank you. Just leftovers from the restaurant. What about Volcano? She needs to eat her lunch too. Oh, you're quite right, though. Uh, she can have my corn. <laughs> Here you go, little one. You must be hungry too. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like Tessa didn't have that broom up her ass back then. Come on, honey, smile, like Allison. Hold up your fish. It's not my fish anymore. Allison stole it. Oh. My sister, the fish thief. <laughs> oh, no. You were just being The ratty. fish thief. Was I, though? Yes. All I did was help clean it when we were out. Is that blood? Eddie had to force you to share. Ugh, gross stain is gross. Ugh, what happened? Some unfortunate spillage that brought about the end of indoor tea parties. I hid the stain with my toys, forgetting that they would eventually be picked up. Mm. Who, Ronan? Uh, you... I was scared. <laughs> I was so afraid that Marianne would ground me for the rest of my life. But she didn't, right? No. I remember her saying that... That sufficiently adventurous play ensures that accidents will happen. And that it wasn't a big deal. But still, no more tea parties inside. Right. 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 I smell trauma. Where's the trauma? There it is. There's the trauma. Steady now. Take your time. I like instead of memories, I just call it trauma. <laughs> what about me? I want to clean the fish too. It's not even your fish. You didn't catch anything. Ugh. Only because you wouldn't stop talking and scared all the fish away. Keep your eyes on what you're doing. Well, she really doesn't let that go, does she? That makes sense. When we're done with this half, you can take over and do the other one. So there was an earlier scene when uh, they're meeting up at the shop there, and. The brother was like, hey, you know, you never really catch any fish at all. And same thing with the other person. Like, yeah, we went fishing before and you never caught anything. 
And I guess it dates back to that moment right there where they, they don't... She just sucks at fishing. She is terrible. I think she's just impatient. That just makes sense to me. Allison, I asked you to clean up the coffee table three times already. <laughs> all that's, memories are basically I trauma. So. I mean, that's... I mean, not all memories are trauma, right. but like... I'll clean it up. Thanks. While you do that, I'll check out the furniture. I mean, being like a basically you want to keep the coffee anywhere is from a 80s kid to a early 2000s. Yeah. What about you? Um, yeah. Okay. Shit. Never mind. No, I wanted to press the button. Here. But no, but seriously though, think about it. <laughs> like we've been told that there's been an apocalypse really like every like year since chair. since then. <laughs> like multiple disasters. All right. For your forest now. Shaq, would you like shit? Second thought. Never Sorry, mind. I wasn't paying attention. Uh, trash it. Another one for the landfill. That's too beaten up to even sell. And finally, I hate to say it, but the couches get a one-way ticket to the dump. No protest here. I think I have permanent knee damage from a decade of bumping into the I don't know. those damn things. Well, that that's couch right work. there, you might be able to sell. From your duties. That's a nice looking couch. I would buy that. I would refurbish all that front mount, keep that wood though. That looks fucking beautiful. I'd just maybe make it like leather, or I'd make it like just a different fabric. That is a beautiful couch. Look at that. God damn. What's that? <gasps> no fucking way! It's one of those things. <laughs> Are you gonna keep doing that? Yes. It brings up the dopamine. <laughs> Alright, I'm done. I'm done. done. Three is three is gonna. Three is gonna. I remember those things as a kid, though. Uh, we got, uh, look. That's a nice face. I wonder if my horse figurine is still in there. Uh, you're what now? Welcome to check, bro. You're welcome to stick your hand in there to check. Probably gonna get spiders, though. He's on. What else we got? Kind of leftovers we got. You hungry? <laughs> for, for bachelor souffle. Uh, I was hoping maybe you could make me one of those pickle and ketchup sandwiches. Um. I'm sorry, sir. We are all out of pickles today. Could I interest you in a ketchup only sandwich? Can I interest, <laughs> interest like you in anything all the time? Ew. Says the guy who used to eat peanut butter with ranch. Ugh. Gross. The fuck? How could you eat? That's okay. So the ingredients that make just ranch are gross in general, <laughs> but when you mix them together, sometimes they're good. But if you mix peanut butter with ranch, what the hell? Hmm. Table and it's something I maybe should try once, but for now, uh, so we can make some pretty good money if we sell this. And I know I'd end up eating on the couch most of the time anyway. Facts. I have a table right over there. In my thing. And I haven't used that table in months. I mainly eat at my desk. Or yeah, in front of the TV or on the bed. What's that smell? Smells like delicious garbage. How often do you use your uh, kitchen table? Just question. Post in the comments. Like modern. Does you have a family dinner? Like how often do you use your kitchen table? A skunk? What did you do to her? Is she okay? Sure is. She just went hunting for food and couldn't get back out. All she needed was a little nudge to get her on her way.
Sam Kamsky, hero of skunk kind. I remember being super- Ancient appliances, you are staying here. Although, that oven looks in okay enough shape. No way. We are not moving the oven. Hey, huh. Allison, come take a break with me. No! No breaks. Just sell. We are gonna flip this house, mister. If you like it or not. What's this? Join. Fine, I'll join Is the festivity. Yeah, I'm gonna boil some water. You want something to drink? Is that a real fireplace? Or is it just like electric? Because those things look pretty charred. Coffee, tea. You did mention coffee. Would you rather have instant coffee or instant coffee? Hmm. Nah, sorry. I'm more of a tea person. Get it? Tea? Mm. As in... Testosterone? Mm. As in male? Have you been waiting to make that joke? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad Eddie came through on the caffeine. Shh, did you hear that? <gasps> the Ice King is sending us a warning. Oh no. Not the Ice King. What's this? Ye old trauma. For your punishment, said the Ice King. You shall be banished from the forest. And if you dare come back before the new moon. You shall feel my anger in your gut. Hear it in the wind. Whoosh. <laughs> wow, that's weird. Huh. Do you think the Ice King would really react that way? I he mean, be intimidating, but he's always fair and never mean. Oh yeah, he, you're right. Maybe he tells the goblins to help the people they hurt instead. Great idea, sweetie. Why don't we think about it at dinner? I'll put everything away for safekeeping while you go wash your hands. Okay. Yeah. Can you put them in the binder so they don't get stained? Of course, love. She okay, so she is carrying a lot of sense, but like I, still think, my I think the older they got we put so many hours into that book. The more yeah. she the slowly lost her mind. And incomplete stories. I think they're all still in the kitchen drawer. We should go take a look. Kitchen drawer. Kitchen drawer. That is not the kitchen drawer. Kitchen drawer. Where are the oh? Come check this out. You got it. I guess I'll Alice follow you then. Drafts. Right. I didn't contribute at all. Listen. Come on. We can't all be I artists. You did. I can't believe she kept all these. My hands are so broken. I can't even be an artist. Fridge for a couple like of all the would have been enough. All the art of mine. All my friends did. Thought of ourselves as the goblins. And I thank them for that, because the get art the sense and fan art they make is absolutely Marianne beautiful. The princess in the stories. Uh, yeah, she called her bedroom the princess. Oh, Matchbox Boy on and TikTok. She was all alone in the woods in this house until we showed up. She was alone, but with a few friends who helped her along the way. What are you doing? Research. So, if Marianne was the princess, then who were all the rest? And here we go. Oh, come on. Humor me. Remember! What's happening? Uh, I actually don't know who's who. The fish, um, on the right, maybe. Oh, poor Moose really didn't do him justice. Hmm. Justice, kind of yes. ironic, huh? Considering he was the lawful good one. Too bad the law isn't really just. Okay, so that one. 
Not what I want. Right there. Bought that. You go here. You done? No. The bear was the most helpful one. He was always around. Stalking her? What? No. I mean, he was kind of always there. Lurking. So Sam? Hmm. Pelican. She was the most generous one. <laughs> yeah. But there was always a catch. Yep. I got it right. Um... I think that's right. Right? I'm done. How do I... How, where's the done button? You stumped? No. I'm actually not. But it won't let me change any mm, this one unless it wants me to change it to that wow because that's the order like He's the lurker. He's the justice. She's the pelican. Like, what do I do? There's no, like, B button. Unless I'm going to swap this way, but I don't think it's like that. Oh! Okay. Yeah, I, I, okay. Got it. There you go. All right. I think I'm done. I wasn't sure. aware. I'm pretty definitely sure. How do you like them apples? You know, I think you might be onto something. What about these guys? I don't see them being real life people or this one. Who? The specific human attributes you have assigned to these forest animals are truly thought-provoking. Indubitably. <laughs> hey. I think it's the dark side of the mother. Yep. Totally, Marianne. Why a princess, though? Why not a queen? You better hurry, or the Mad Hunter will princess, get us! We need to hide. She didn't have this someone way. with her. Going on. What? I I don't know. Is he here? The he dark really void. Here? I'm scared. Go away. Uh. Yeah. Go back to the forest. That's a really dark entity. I forgot about that. We've been pretending like he fun. was there. And then Suddenly he was. That was the only time that happened, right? Allison. Got a knock on the door, safe by the it bell. It felt way too real. It was us pushing our imagination way too far. Great. Sam I mean, you're grandmaster psychic people. Bad timing. We're not done with this conversation. Morning, Sam. Ahoy, goblins! Ahoy! I ran into Chief Hi. Brown. He said you were starting to clean up on the house this morning, so uh, I kind of figured you might need some supplies. That's. Thank you. That was very thoughtful. So listen, I uh, I wanted to apologize for scaring you yesterday. You didn't. Your shotgun did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> I. Uh, Anyway, I also came by to say I fired up the Google and I uh, fired up the Google. I didn't know the difference between all those. I made the Tesla run with the tea kettle and the, much of a the steam powered horse. But I think I get why what I said was wrong. I'm real sorry. 
Oh, and before I forget, we're the lady of the house. No fucking way. It was your mom's what favorite a... recipe. <laughs> Still make it darn near every week. I can't catch a fish. <laughs> Constantly uh, reminding her that she ain't shit at fishing. Still no electricity. Oh yeah, the fuse box is busted. <laughs> Just another thing I've been meaning to put back together around here. Where is it? I can take care of it. You got a oh, propane tank like can. George Foreman? But, uh, I've been kicking this thing back to life for the last 20 some years. I'll give you a hand. Or even like a All Coleman right. grill? Boxes in the barn. Follow me. We'll be right behind you. Like you guys ice fish. Come on, you gotta have a Coleman grill. Something. That apology was something. Come on. We need lights. So be nice to the helpful man. I guess. He is helpful, but... He sure is kind of oblivious. Um. So, um, how's school? I graduated already. Outdoor studies. Oh, outdoor studies, huh? Well, it's a good thing I came along when I did. You know, I built this here barn for your mama. What happened to the fuse box? I forgot. <laughs> Just the ignored the shit there. out of it. Fuses it kept snapping. Turns out a circuit was a little worse for the wear. I started it back on the spot. Just the way your mama would have wanted. Made her happy things could be fixed instead of thrown out. Anyways, let me find that darn key. Go have her keys. Wait. Wait, Sam. You have more of our keys? Yeah. The one for the barn's called a railroad key. See, it's got this special tip that you can... Fascinating. I'll take that off your hands now. Well, I, uh... Figured I might still need to do some maintenance, so... Uh... Nope. We're good. Thank you. A fair warning. Door's a bit temperamental. We're gonna be here, dude. Taking care of this place? Any maintenance you need, we'll be here. oil the doors? What? Just come knock on the door. Just hang out here all day or something? You might. You Here's look like you've done creepier good. shit. Good. Okay, when you twist it as far as you can to the left, give it a nice little... Damn it. No, you shit. break that handle? Is that a boat? Or a car? At least the door is open now. <laughs> yeah, uh, well, that's easy enough to fix. Now, that fuse box. Oh no, no, no. You and you are going to clean up your mess. I'll take care of the fuse box. But I didn't do it. I'm not Shut your average. fucking mouth. Fuses go into plugs. Should be easy enough. All right. Um, let's, let's, okay, let's, let's look at here. I have a look see. Main range water heater. Kitchen, outlet, lights, generator, garage. Okay. I can't read cursive very well. So. I wrapped up your electrical board. Gotta run, but in case you want to check it out, careful not to overload the circuits. You'll have 15 amp fuses for the garage. Uh, amps total up to 120 amps for the how house. Uh, yes, pretty proud of myself for once. I respect the right color coding. Each fuse should have the right color cable. So, 15 for the garage, 120 for the house. Just a bum knee, I wrecked it playing ball. Ball? Football? In college? High school. Best damn fullback around. Well, until I got hurt. That's rough. Okay. 
so. Funny. Must be the latch. No shit. It's covered in thirty. Uh, nothing a little salt and lime can't fix. It. And Fifty. Salt and lime. It's a door latch, not a bottle of cheap tequila. <laughs> mm. Sure could go for a margarita right about now. A margarita? Really? Hey. Sometimes old Sam likes to feel fancy. That's a hundred up there. Here, hold this. I want to get a look. I'm at for the house. Shouldn't we get this cleaned up before we put it back together? I just want to check something. Hey, uh... Wait, that's not right. Nope. Are you sure you don't need a hand? Hey, I'm moving at my own pace. I need to know this stuff. All right. Women, huh? Don't do that, Sam. Uh, <laughs> did you read the note next to the box? Yeah. I'm fucking trying. All right. Dryer. Kitchen. Outlet. Light. Generated. So the garage, it said 15. I know it said 15. There's already a 15 slot in there for some unknown reason. Um, and it said 120 for the house. I put 120 in the house. Everywhere. Well, don't stick your nose in there. Like it's a goddamn bouquet. Unless it's not supposed to do that. Hold on. I mean, plug in more. Thirty. Okay, so it's got three, six, nine, ninety. So maybe another thirty. Okay, fair enough. I guess I should try a higher amp fuse. Be careful, you don't put a low amp in a high amp plug. That's a fire just waiting to happen. Just do the math, Allison. Wait, what? There's a difference? Okay. Where does the wires go? Am I missing something? It needs to be forced back onto the brass bit. That's probably what was jamming it in the first place. Probably so. Okay. Head for this stuff. Yeah, let me let know, me reread this. Not the only person who used to fix stuff around here. Back out the circuit board. Yeah. You'll have to use a 15 amp fuses to figure out. Army to keep this place standing. Okay, so 15 down there, and total up to 120 for the house. the color coding each fuse use the right color okay huh. don't budge is there any three in one oil in the barn nope so three have to pick some up at six, the nine anyways well see how loose the bolt is strike needs to be I don't understand does that mean you can't fix the door um yeah. It should simply so much for an easy fix. go like this. Let's try this one. Damn it. Hey, get what do you mean? Okay, so they like color coded wires, so that's based on the fuse. I'm just an idiot, I guess. And yeah.
Is that just mystery one? Mystery X? Okay, so 30, 20, 20, 40, 30, fucking, what, 70? What the fuck? That's not right. 40, 30, fucking, yeah, 70. So 70 plus 30. Should be 100. Down there is 20 and 15. I don't know. Is that right? Be careful you don't put a low amp in a high amp plug. That's a fire just waiting to happen. Well, just do the math, Allison. Fucking, I would love to do the math, but just the way that the shit in the paper didn't make fucking sense. Oh, never mind. Hmm. Seems good. I should have figured with the white wire being the blue one, but uh, I didn't. <laughs> ah, yes. Everything okay? You, uh... No. You two look like you got this all in hand, so, um... I think how much shotgun you have is the one that she tried to murder us with. Fine. What was that about? Oh, you know. Sam got so upset. Oh, he probably forgot he was all out of bourbon. <sighs> well, something about it. Hmm, really got I wonder what fits there. I don't think any of us <laughs> are exactly happy to see that gun rack. Uh, remind me to take it down later. Preda rep. What's that? Old piece. Ew, what? Do not spill it on your shoes. Sorry. I sense a story. Well, if by story you mean using it at fireweed to get rid of some rats, and then spilling it on my only pair of shoes, then yes. <laughs> hey, that is funny. It was not funny. Sure I'm, thing, B-boy. I'm hey, laughing, aren't I? Are you cooing at a spider? Yeah. It better be a tiny one. Don't listen to the mean lady. Huh, look at this. I think this is where she made all her toys. She was so crafty. And she could draw and write and take pictures. She could have been an artist. San Insanity. Walking herself on Insanity her. truly makes you an artist. Toilet paper tubes, <laughs> rope, cardboard. At least entertaining. Maybe a car? Ooh, or a tank. Oh man, I'm gonna put together the sweetest toolbox ever. What are we gonna do with this rack? Take it apart and sell the scrap. Be my guest. It sure looks like a pile of junk to me. Where you see junk, I see dollars. Okay. I like to take off the fucking tarp and see what's underneath. Allison, do you know who this is? Hold on. There's something else to examine. Found Marianne's stash. Ooh-wee! Jam! Blueberry... Blueberry... Snows has definitely gone bad. What is that? As far that? as I'm concerned, they always were. <laughs> Does canned food really expire? I mean, it's airtight, right? Uh... Not gonna be the one to test that out. But it's tuna. You were saying? What did you find? Do you know who that is? Uh, Your dad? 
That's Carol, Eddie's mom. I've seen other pictures of her, but never this one. Man, look at Brown. In Marianne. She looks really happy. Can I? Careful, the glass is Ow. broken. Are you okay? <laughs> it stings. Let's go see mom. But she'll get mad. You we weren't even supposed to be here. Ah, how the little thing set off the trauma, baby. I feel something strong. Trauma sprites. Making my feet pain. Follow the memory. Come on, it's gonna get infected. Go, go, go. Little by little. Crawl, baby steps. I, I don't want to. She said not to disturb her and Eddie. Where are you going? Things were different when she was around. We were family, Eddie. How could you do this to me? Shh. Look. I had to make that call. What? What were they talking about? I can't figure out what's going on. I don't know, but I remember that whatever Eddie had to do, whatever that call was about, it was tearing him up. Tearing him up? He was being a total cop, and Marianne got pissed and threw him out. Here, I'm gonna show you what I remember. There, by the house. I had to make that call. I was just following the law. Oh yeah? And this little visit right here? What would the law say about this, huh? Look, I didn't have to come out here, but I did. You're a goddamn hypocrite. Get out of here! Marianne. I said get out! Out! Huh. What? She didn't throw the picture at him. You sure about that? He was being a complete dick. How can you be sure? We were eavesdropping. We could barely see a thing. What do you think happened then? It's a really interesting to look at how people remember stuff though. I had to make that call. I was following procedure. What I'm legally required to do. Then why are you here? Pretty sure this isn't procedure. I wanted you to hear it from me. Please leave. Mary Ann. I'm sorry. Please just go. How do we keep remembering the same thing so differently? It was a long time ago, and, well, memory is a tricky thing. Wait, when did that happen? I'm not sure. I think it was the exact same day she attacked you. That's what I thought. But Uncle Eddie said he hadn't seen Marianne for weeks. Yeah, that was bullshit. And what was all that about following the law? What was he doing here exactly? Shit. I don't That's know. about I'm not depressed. I have no idea. We shouldn't jump to any conclusions. Look, I know he took care of you, but that doesn't make him incapable of lying. I can't see him being that cold with Marianne, even if he was being a cop. I mean, I can, but who knows? I guess memory's a tricky thing, huh? Goddamn hypocrite. Get out of here! You're a goddamn hypocrite. Get out. I'm just cracked, I don't think. Get out. Get out. Sadness makes more sense. I, don't... I know you were just doing your job, but I need you to go before you get in trouble. Please just get out of here. Alright. 
Say Brown really felt bad about whatever he came out to tell her. It was still the day she attacked us. He still lied. Now what? We go and get a straight answer from him. Right now? Yes. I'll go get my car keys. But what will these mountains of trash do without us? Fuck the trash. <laughs> Fuck, the trash. Fuck that trash. Man, I can't believe Brown lied. I mean, I may not be the guy's biggest fan, but he's always talking about the truth and the law and shit. Do you have to be so happy? Very about different what? when you're, you know. I know you've been waiting for something like this. Something that proves Even. Eddie's an asshole. But gloating mm. about it is really not cool. Yeah, no, you're right. It's Tina. I gotta take this. Who's Tina? Yeah, J just a sec. I'm parking the car. I'll just go stretch my legs then. No, it's just give me a sec. Okay, Tina, what's going on? Hi, hon. I've got someone who is super interested in seeing the house. Oh, that's amazing. Uh, when? They're just in the area for a couple of days, so they'd like to come by day after tomorrow. Oh, uh, I'm not sure it'll be ready. Han, this guy is very motivated, but I know he's looking at other properties. It's not like you've had people breaking down the door. I appreciate that, but we've kind of got a lot going on over here. Did I mention it would be an all-cash offer? Do it. Yeah? Yep. Dee and I did that trail a couple years ago. We drank ice cold beers when we reached the summit. Whose votes are you looking to win out here, Tom? The Bears? Yes. The Bears. The Chicago Bears. Just kidding. The artist really nailed this one. Dorian Key. Kind of rings it. Looks like you found a nice spot. We've been here before, right? I feel like I've been here before. So, Tina? Tina West, our realtor. Oh, that Tina. What'd she need? Well, we have an interested buyer. Tina's gonna show him the house day after tomorrow. Oh, great. Apparently he'd be paying cash, but he's just in town for a few days, so... Mm. I mean, we're not signing anything in blood. It's just a showing. I know. Look, we both need this money. And it'll take at least a few weeks, right? There's plenty of time to figure out all this Marianne stuff. It's fine. You did it. It's done. Let's move on. <sighs> so, before Tina called, we were talking? Yeah. 
I'm not happy your foster father fucked up. Oh yeah? Because you sure sounded like he it. He hid information about Marianne. I know! You just don't have to rub it in. I get it. You're always gonna side with him over me. Come on, that's not That's fair. not true. Then why do you keep doing this? I sided this with you at the PlayStation. These people, they're just don't lie. memories to you. But it's my home, Tyler. My friends, my family. And as much as I want answers, I'd rather not lay waste to my entire life to get them. Fuck you mean. You seem pretty eager to ditch. You're literally me. leaving. Hey, Allison. Apparently a cash offer is all it takes. I'm ready to move on. But that doesn't mean I want to burn every bridge on my way out. Her hometown looks pretty picturesque from here, doesn't it? You're way more attached to this place than you let on. Come on, Tyler, help me out here. Why do you shut people out like this? You're literally talking inside my head. Not sure how I could shut you out even if I tried. You know what I mean, Ty. Found you, North Star. Okay, now you're the star and I'm the compass. Okay, and don't cheat. I know you were sending me fake hints last time. I did not. <laughs> yes, you did. Okay, okay, I won't do it again. That was kind of cute. You were always accusing me of cheating. Because <laughs> you totally did. It was a cool game. Guessing where you were just by feeling what you felt. No one else could play it with us. That was the beauty of it. For real? You never wanted any other friends? No, not really. I mean, we had each other. That was enough for me. Hey, I really am sorry I gave Tina an answer without talking to you first. It's okay. You probably made the right call. You were right to call me out earlier. I was being a jerk about Eddie. I'm all for enjoying the wins as they come. But maybe not at the expense of my father figure. I'll try my best. So I have to warn you. Can't believe the old cannery is still in business. Plenty more fish in the sea. For now. Fuck was that? People come here from thousands of miles away to look at that glacier, and we get to see it from our deck. I see you have your sales pitch ready for the buyer. <laughs> wow. So why did we come here? Just need a break. I found Aww. aha I knew it was still here I knew we'd been here before we claimed it as part of the Ronin kingdom and <laughs> still is all it needs is a little update What are you doing? What I wanted to do back then, but I didn't have the guts.
There. Looking better already. You're right. Way better. So, what's the plan? We go inside and calmly ask Eddie why he was there that day. All right. Let's try to let him get his side of the story out, okay? Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. I understand, Mr. Barrow. I'll be sure to let him know. Yes, I have it all written down. Have a good day, Mr. Barrow. Morning, Missy. How do you get stuck working reception? Bro's called in sick this morning. I'm covering for her while I try to get my paperwork done. What are you doing here? Just checking in with Uncle Eddie. I'm guessing from the identical features that this is Tyler? Tyler, <laughs> Denise, Denise, Tyler. Wilson, could you tell Officer Vincenzi that I'll be... Oh, good morning, Allison. Hi, Uncle. Um, I'm going to take Dr. Torres' statement. No need for Vincenzi. You don't have to address me, too? Am I not fucking real to you? He doesn't seem like he's in the best of moods. Yeah, I don't know what's going on, but... He didn't, he didn't address me. Like, I don't even fucking exist. The hell? Great. He has an excuse to brush us off. I'm sure he... Hey. He speaks. How's Delos treating you so far? It's been good to see Allison. She's been talking nonstop about you lately. I know she's happy to have you here. Hey, been meaning to say, Allison showed us that article you wrote for the Juno Daily last year. You were spot on. The state needs to be giving way more money to youth centers. Fireweed was lucky to have you. Thanks. I spent a lot of time fighting for more outdoor activities. Made some enemies in the administration over that one. But the first time those kids summoned Mount Roberts... Man, they were so proud. It felt great. I know exactly what you mean. I, um, volunteer sometimes with the JCE. You know, give lectures about police work, lead group talks when I can. Wait, really? That's awesome. Yeah, and I don't mean to preach, but the kids in those groups, be it Fireweed or the JCE, they need people who really understand them. People who know where they're coming from and will fight for what they need. Anyways, sorry for the rant. Oh, hello, kids. Hello, middle-aged adult. Everything all right? Your uncle said you <laughs> hello, middle-aged adult. A few days? That's optimistic. It feels like every time we clear out a drawer, two more just appear out of thin air. Huh. Yes. You got my sympathies. When we emptied Linda's parents' house, oof. I thought we'd have to rent a backhoe. How is Linda? I feel like I haven't seen her in months. Good. Yeah, she started working over at the high school as the librarian. Pay's not great, but she gets to see the kids every day, so... <laughs> I bet Brendan's thrilled. Oh, yeah. Happy as any teenager who's got to spend extra time with his mom. Well, I'll let you work. Eh, no worries. You're not a bother. Dr. Torres, you said your daughter was with you during the Tyler event? Ronan. Yes. Good sure. to see you again. I'll need her information. You've too. gotten tall. Can you give that her name usually again? happens between ages 11 and 21. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, uh, welcome home. Henderson. Different last name? Yes, her father's. Thanks. Uh, it's been a while. So, so what brings you two around? around? No, her father has primary custody because of my hours. She stays with me. We're here to see Chief Brown. Oh, boy. What do you do now? Suspects wanted for a felony. Oh, well, don't forget to read him as Miranda writes. So is there anything I can help you with?
You might actually. Is there any way we could see the file for our mother's case? Ah, um, well, you're legally allowed to look at anything that concerns you, so you could always file a request for access. So we can see it? Of course. I can start the paperwork if you want. It's okay. We'll figure it out with Brown. Thanks. All right. So, apparently they keep all the case files right here. Someone Jesus, you scared me. <laughs> anyway, if Brown's not going to be sure with us, we should just read it for ourselves. But you couldn't stick yeah. in a statement? Um, all right. I had to be in surgery at night. Morning, Chief Brown. Good morning, Tyler. Hey, could we talk to you in private? Oh, he actually acknowledged my existence this time. Can you excuse me for a second, Dr. Torres? What's going on, you two? We'd like to see our mother's case file. We talked to Greg's. We were hoping to file a request for access. Today. Excuse me. Come on. <laughs> Greg's a piece of shit. I was trying to tell him they couldn't. Fill out the paperwork, but the file won't be ready for a few days. How long is it going to take, exactly? That depends. Three days. A week. A week? Aren't all the files just upstairs? Yeah, but the approval process takes time. Who is approval? I don't know what you're looking for in that file. I was the officer in charge of the case, and there's nothing you two don't already know. It doesn't matter. We haven't seen it for our own eyes. I've got a victim waiting to finish your statement. We can file the access paperwork later tonight. All right? Later tonight, like not during office hours? Oh, I hate when he's stubborn like that. So what now? That doesn't sound right at all. Mr. Torres, where were we? Well, he's obviously not going to give us the truth. So I say we go get it ourselves. Where do you think they'd stash our file? I don't know. The archive room? Maybe Eddie's office? Wait, you're not seriously thinking of breaking and entering a police archive? Go big or go home. Incident report states you called yesterday at 6.13 a.m. for someone vandalized. Officer Vincenzi was dispatched to your home at 6.29 a.m. Oh, boy. Fire drills. Everybody's favorite way to slack off. Hey, is that your desk? Huh? I didn't think so. Of course. Move on. It says right. here you work at <laughs> Sorry. Cottonwood Hospital. That's right. That sure is a commute. It certainly is. two up to over there everything all right oh uh, yeah everything's fine we're just uh i was just telling tyler where the upstairs bathroom is tyler help me out here oh uh yeah toilet emergency lake water you know mother nature's juice cleanse and there's a bathroom just past the break room behind you first door on your right forget it tyler there's no way we're getting upstairs out in the open like this it's too suspicious there must be another way up there was a fire drill notice on vincenzi's desk are there any kind of fire exits? Oh my god. Why didn't I think of that? Lobby. Now. There's no access to the first floor this way. We need to find another way up. All right. Incident report states you called yesterday at 6.13 a.m. because someone had arrived at the mailbox. Officer Vincenzi was dispatched to your home at 6.29 a.m. You head now? Uh, yeah, gotta get going. Later. So that mailbox bandit struck again, huh? Apparently so. What's that red warehouse for? Shooting range. Uh. Fire exit's right behind me. Yeah, but I mean, I can't look around the rest of the area.
There. Fire exit. It opens up to a staircase on the side of the building, but it'll definitely be locked from the inside. If one of us were to create a diversion, the other could slip upstairs and open the door. And since you're the troublemaker, I nominate you as the one to make a scene. Wait, really? Got a better <laughs> idea? Not really, no. Right, let's go. Those garbage cans are like the opposite of bear proof. You know, it's actually really unhealthy for animals to eat our trash. Simmer down. We don't have time for a ranger rant. And I've got the wildlife channel too, you know. Who are you? Oh, wait, never mind. where I was going. Just leave that there. That seemed way easier than it should have been. I'm in position. What now? Turn right when you exit the station and follow the side of the building. The staircase will be right there. And we just get out there? Did you forget the moment? Do you have like short term memory loss? Shit. Where are you? Right here. Open the door. Quick, get in. Oh god, what did I just do? You took control of your destiny. Own it. That's the armory. Police chief of Delos Crossing hosts charity events. Huh? Let's put the Vecchies next to. Can you not? The police chief of Delos Crossing hosts charity events. Huh? Oh, yeah. The community social. He volunteered to help. And since he pretty much knows everyone, and more importantly, who's called the cops on who, he's in charge of the seating chart. Brown really wants everyone to know what a fine, upstanding citizen he is, doesn't he? He's a genuinely good- Huh. The Dallas Police Force is getting a new officer. Oh, finally. Hmm. You finding anything? No. First- Alright, first class, two, three. This guy has a record, and not a short one. Why is he even in the running? Shh. Eddie has a really hard time hiring people out here. I don't think he's in the military. He has all the training without actually training him. Destined to burn, we emerge as stardust. Is that? Oh no. <laughs> oh yes. Burn it. Burn it with fire. Burn it with fire. What else would you burn it with? Looks like this is where Brown keeps all his personal mail. You applied to a summer drama program back in 2009? I did, but they rejected me. 
Michael and I were supposed to go together. He went, but I was stuck here for the summer with no one but Justin Bieber for company. Looks like he's working with the Office of Child Services on the case. None of our business. Why is Brown on a first name basis with the director of Fireweed? Oh. What'd you find? It's an invoice. Eddie Brown, you'll find and close the final invoice for resident Tyler Ronan. The Fireweed administration would like to thank you for all of the support you've given us over the years. I knew Eddie pulled some strings to send you there, but... <laughs> that's a lot of money. More backdoors and secret moves. Maybe he didn't want to make you uncomfortable. Well, now I feel like I'm in his debt. Brown really wants everyone to know what a fine, upstanding citizen he is, does he? He's a genuinely good person. And saying that here makes me feel even worse. It's the end. How old is Brown? 38. Oh, wow. He graduated really young. Youngest officer to ever join the DCPD. Aw, look at you. Allison Ronan, perfect daughter. Can we stay focused? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously? You're gonna try to hack- Whoa, Brown looked at our file this morning. Wait, what? What does that mean? I don't, I don't know. But there's a reference number. R68653. Huh. Tom invited Eddie over for dinner? Oh, yeah. Uh, he's been trying way too hard to get Eddie's endorsement. Does he? Support Tom? He preferred staying neutral. One of his emails mentioned the archives. That's gotta be where our file is. Please tell me you know what the code is. To the highly confidential police archive? Then, how am I supposed to open the door? I spent hours playing next to this room. I'd see people go inside all the time. The keypad does this little tune. dum da dee do. <laughs> Seriously? Go on, try. Four different possibilities. I don't think that's the right order. Gee, only twenty four different possibilities. Looks like they're finally going digital. Oh, that's right. I remember Eddie complaining about this. They're gonna have to resort everything. Great. They've digitized their closed files, but only the ones before 1990. Meaning? Meaning our file is still somewhere in those boxes. Perfect. A room of scattered case files. I mean, it was just looked at system. this morning. Yep. 
This is gonna be so fun for you. How hard could it be? I'm gonna go keep a lookout. I was just looked at. What? Why do I have to be the one stuck with box duty? Because if anyone sees me, I'll have a better excuse for being there. Reach out if you need anything. R six eight six five three. Look it up. Look it up. She says. Okay. Not that one. Not this one. Nope. Are you finding anything? Give me a sec. Just give me a minute. It's a mess in here. Come on, we need to hurry. see it. some other files and audio recordings though you might be able to look those up on the computer even if our file hasn't been digitized yet they may already have it in the appendix by keywords. What should I look for? I don't know. Mary Ann Ronan, March 1st, 
No. That's nope. Not this one either. Uh, where's the damn box? You finding anything? No. That's not it. Nope. No. Nope. Not this one either. No. That's not it. Nope. Well? No. That's not it. You... Nope. No. Nope. No. Nope. Not this. No. Nope. Well? This one no, that's not it. You finding anything? Nope. Not this one either. Uh, where's no? That's not it. Nope. Well. No. Nope. Not this one either. No. That's not nope. Not this one. No. That's not it. Nope. Not this one either. Uh, where no? That's not it. Nope. You finding anything? Just give me a minute. It's a mess in here. Come on, we need to hurry. <sighs> not this one. No, that's not it. Nope. I have her autopsy report. Okay. She... God. What is it? She drowned. The stab wound was non fatal. What? Okay, I need to check out 05R61889. Zero zero One either. No, that's not it. Nope. Well, not no, nope. Not this one either. No, nope. Not this one. No, that's nope. Not this one either. No, that's not nope. You finding anything? There. I found a summary of everything. Wow, this is a real detective novel. Brown's quite the wordsmith. He's not a writer, Tyler. Can I just put these files back?
already seen this one. Reference is 05 R63 325. Okay, here it is. Well, that's a picture I definitely don't want to keep. What? Been there. Don't know. Already seen this one. References 05 R68 MISC. Nope. child services. Search for that. Got something. This is Officer Eddie Brown. Hello, Officer Brown. This is Simone Prue from the Office of Child Services. Hello, Mrs. Prue. I'm calling about the Ronin family. Uh, I just wanted to let you know that we will be moving forward with the case. Ah, uh, I see. Is there anyone additional we should interview while we're in the area? Yeah, um, Samuel Kansky is a close friend of the family. Uh-huh. K-1. 
K-A-N-S-K-Y. Great. Your caseworker, Sandy Black, will be arriving on March 5th. She'll drop by the station first thing in the morning. Mrs. Prue, how worried should we be? Mm, I really can't say until I have a full picture of the situation. Of course. Well, have a good afternoon, Mrs. Prue. You too, sir. Here. Zero five zero one C O N E B R. Okay, here it is. Jesus, unbelievable. Allie, Tessa called fucking social services on us, and Eddie went along with it. What? Where are you? What's going on? repeat myself you're a goddamn hypocrite I said move it H hey <laughs> get off me rather spend the night here come on I said don't fucking touch me go on and consider yourselves lucky your family you're right family and for Allison's sake, we should talk. About what? We saw our file. We know about social services. Why? Why did you turn your back on her? Why did Tessa? Okay. Yeah, you're right. We need to talk. The winter before your mother's death was hard. Devil's Crossing was snowed in for months. Most roads were closed and plane supplies were scarce. Everyone was struggling. Especially Marianne. Yeah. She was always just scraping by. And that winter left nothing to scrape up. Even if locals had found time to help her. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure your mother would have accepted. So, she was struggling through the snowstorm of the century, and you reported her to social services? Tessa came to me and reported potential child neglect. As a sworn officer, I am required by federal law to report the allegation to OCS. So you took her word for it and called child services. Failure to provide adequate food, lack of appropriate supervision, inattention to a child's psychological care. Like it or not, she had a case. What? It's bullshit. Just following the law then. Right. Is that why you came over that day before she died? You felt shitty, didn't you? That's why you broke procedure? I had to warn her that it was happening and that it wasn't looking good. An assessment worker had been assigned and started doing background checks. What else was I supposed to do? I thought always telling each other the truth was our number one rule. Still is, little moose. And yet you still lied. I didn't want you two putting yourselves through unnecessary hurt. 
but you're adults and that was your choice to make. I'm, I'm truly sorry. Thank you, Uncle. Just like that, huh? Must be nice to have a daughter who lets you off the hook that easy. Eddie, you keep trying to point your finger at Tessa, but you have to take responsibility for your part in our mother's death. I've asked myself over and over for the past 10 years what I could have done different. I know I made a big mistake with you two here. And you've got every right to be angry. Being a father, well, it's a pretty tough job. I've tried my best. And I'd like to try my best with you too, Tyler, if you want it. I'm open to getting there, but it's gonna take some time before we're a big, happy family. I respect that. It's hard work rebuilding trust. But you've got a place here whenever you need it. He's in a tough situation. I had, <laughs> I understand now, but still. Motherfucker, like, locked me up for seven years. <laughs> and then, like, this one scenario. Group hug? Place, but he did try his best to make my stay there as comfortable as possible, but still. He could have just arrested me there. He could have been done a lot. I understand his part to his side there's nothing he could do he had no idea what the mother was doing they didn't know that she was mentally ill they didn't know anything about what's going on Alex, understandable what you feel like shit how can you tell because i feel like shit what are we gonna do about tessa nothing look we're not gonna do anything that's enough. There's Tyler. nothing to do. Talk to Tessa? Why? What are you looking for? What are you expecting her to say? I thought she loved us. Really? Chief Brown, is it true? Is she? Oh my god. Ch children, I... Tessa. Tessa, you need to leave. Come on, kids. Everything is going to be alright, okay? You're going to be okay, I promise. Go home. You can't be here right now. <laughs> it's such a conflicting fucking character. I don't know what to fucking believe. Everything is double talking itself. Everything. I'm just so confused. Everything double talks itself. Everything. And the only thing is about the mother is she didn't. Seems like she didn't get treated for a mental illness, so no one knew that she was this mentally ill. Also, she was trying to make it work. She's poor as fuck. There, there's so many fucking elements that are broken here that like no one's gonna find the truth well, unless. At least we know the entire world didn't vanish. Unless. She just comes back from the grave. <laughs> but given who is here, we can't count out the rapture quite yet. I need to take a breather. I'm gonna do a bit of shopping. You look for Tessa, okay? On it. I stopped to take a leave just as I was finishing up. I see. <sighs> okay. Sites. You 
shot it? Yes, sir. Wait, you said you were near Crystal. Hey, guys. I hope I'm not interrupting. Not at all. Oh, hey, Tyler Ronan. Huh. We keep bumping into each other, don't we? What were you guys talking about? I don't think you'd be interested. <laughs> Killing for sport, gotcha. You two just can't stay away, huh? Unfortunately. We're looking for Tessa again. She took off about half an hour ago. Sorry. Is Tom busy? He's been in the office all morning, so who knows? But it's Tom, so it's probably safe to interrupt him. Hmm. Do you know if Tessa's going to be back soon? I don't know if she's even coming back. No one tells me anything. Hmm. Sounds about right. Thanks, man. Thanks for all the little information you can offer, at least. Stripes candy? Never heard of it. <laughs> what? Bang bang. Come in. What do you mean? We've got enough signatures. It should have at least been enough to stall construction while we figure out our next move. Well, why don't we schedule a meeting with the Alaska Wildlife Foundation? Try to get their support. Look, Harold, I have to go. We can pick this up at the meeting. I should be on my way over soon. Tommy boy. Hello, Tyler. Uh, can I help you? Yeah. Can I press a button on you? Hey, I hope this isn't a bad time, but is Tessa around today? She had to step out for a family matter. This wouldn't be something... She has family? Help, would it? Yeah, maybe. Actually, I... Uh, we were over at the police station, and we took a look at Marianne's case file. <clears throat> okay. Tessa reported Marianne to social services. Did you know? Vaguely. But I didn't get involved. I, I didn't think I really had anything to add. You never thought to mention it? Well, no. I'm not sure how a thing like that would have come up. And I didn't want to rub salt in any wounds. Huh. How about when we were in the store yesterday asking about it point blank? That was between you and Tessa. I try to stay out of other people's affairs. Why did Tessa come to the police station that night? She was looking for you two. To make sure you were okay. When she heard what happened, she was a mess. How exactly did she hear about it so fast? Can't remember who called, but you know how it is. No news travels faster than a secret. Everyone knew five minutes after Brown was on his way out. Okay. I guess, thanks. Thank you. Look, I'm sorry if you felt resistance from people around here. To put it mildly, Allison, you know this better than anybody. But your mother's death left a scar on this community. You now, think? I won't claim we went through anything close to what you did, but it was a cruel reminder of the limits of trust. Well, if we want to get past the limits of trust, we all need to face what happened, which means being completely honest about it. We all want to find peace, kids. It's just harder for some people to talk about the past. Now, you let me know if you have any other questions, okay? Hey. Yes? You said I should remind you not to be late for your meeting, so don't be late. Uh, yep, yep, I'll be on my way in a minute. Uh, so... Kids, was there uh, anything else you two wanted to talk to me about? Did you ever hear any rumors about our mother? Like, who her father might have been? 
I'm not exactly a rumor monger. Your mother was close to a few men, but whether they were your father, I couldn't say. I would explain where the powers come from, but I don't know if the mother had that power or not. Oh, gosh. Uh, I'm sorry. I really have to go. Full campaign. Full campaign. Full campaign. Uh, Michael, uh, could you finish up the storage room and then just uh, close up? Hey, it's sure thing, boss man. See you later. You two want to help a brother out, spend the afternoon here working for free? Why not? I don't know, it's better. I'm here to talk to Tessa and better she's do. not here. Uh, she, she's at the cemetery. Of course she is. Visiting her parents. Oh. Hey, tell you what. Her parents or our? Why don't you guys help me close the store? And we can drive over together. I've been meaning to pay my uncle a visit. Can't we just wait for her to come back here? I, I'm not really excited about going there. Allison, we don't have to visit her grave. I'm gonna start working in the storage room. Tyler, join me when you're done. Sure thing. Just give me a sec. Where'd that question about our father come from? I've just been thinking about who he might be. And if he knows anything that could help us figure this shit out. Why? He wasn't a part of our lives. Besides, Marianne always said we never had a father. Well, her name might have been Mary, but I don't think she was a likely candidate for Immaculate Conception. Uh, hey, so you look less than thrilled with the plan. Yeah, like I said, I am not stoked to be going to the cemetery. I know, but I'll be there too. And Michael. I'm not sure I want to drag him into this. All right, I already counted there, but I just need you to double check a few things. It's not complicated. I've got this in the bag. Oh yeah? Because you're just that good, huh? I'm clowning. I don't even know where to begin. What do I do? Yeah, let's start with an easy one, all right? Go to the back of the room and uh, tell me how many cans of Moto Bene brand tomato sauce we have left. Aye aye. Tomato sauce it is. Uh, no, that's not it. I wonder what's in that box. Tomato sauce, 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 tomato sauce. I imagine it's in cans, right? Like big hulking cans of tomato sauce. Um, is that it down there? I don't, I don't see it unless like I have to pull it down. What the fuck? Is that a picture of a priest with little hearts? Yeah, that's the hot priest who hosts Bible study with Tessa. And for the record, that was Allison's doing. She had a crush on him for ages, but he is very, very hot. Shit, yeah. I remember him from when we were kids. That's Father Batista. Yeah. He's got that silver fox thing going on now, see? Yeah, yep, yeah, I see it. Is that the mangy muskrat? I'll be taking that. You didn't see anything. Hello, <laughs> tomato sauce. Why am I standing here looking at this? Uh, no, that's not it. Nope. I don't 
don't see any tomato sauce. I'm just not looking in the right spot. That looks like tomato sauce. Because it is. <laughs> Boom. Hold on. Let me count this. Oh, I didn't count. Hold on. So, there's two columns. Two, four, six, eight, and twelve. Fourteen. Like twelve cans? What do you mean, like twelve cans? In the game of inventory, be accurate or be obsolete? What? Damn it. Well, then, I guess it's fourteen. Look, I'll let that one slide just because it's you. Let's two, four, I need you six, to knock the bottles of bleach for me. eight, and twelve, fourteen. That should be 14. On it. What bottles? It said something bottles. I didn't hear the rest. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six? All right. Not bad, Tyler. Not bad. Careful. They might give me your job. Oh, you can have it. Uh, what's next? Come here and help me with this. What's up? I need your opinion on this masterpiece. <laughs> Is that supposed to be me? Yeah, come on, look at the hair. Nailed it, right? Honestly, it's beautiful. Hey, don't make fun of me. I'm not. Oh, maybe a little bit, but <laughs> I like it, for real. Well, it helps to have a good model. So, this is what you're up to while I was out there doing your work? What can I say? I'm a multitasker. Hey, multitasker? I think you made a mistake here. Total amount should be 36. Oh, how dare you, sir? What? <laughs> I just don't want you to get in trouble. Yeah, you're right. You know, I'm off my game today. All right, anything else you wanted me to check? Yep, one last thing, and then we should be free from this purgatory. Hit me. Can you count how many plushies we have in that box over there? Um. That box over there. Uh, are you gonna make me beg for specifics? Tempting, but no. See that Bible study poster on the wall over there? That's where you should be looking. Ah, uh, you're too kind. Bible study? That's not Bible study. Is this Bible study? That is. So. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Uh, you've got about eleven left in that box. Did I get it wrong? Michael? Ouch, what the fuck? Hey, sorry. It was just too tempting. <laughs> Lesson number one in the ancient art of inventory. Never let your guard down. You have no idea what you just started. First one with three confirmed hits wins. Cool. <laughs> gotcha. Oh, come on. Is that all you got, Ronan? Just you wait. I've got a strategy. Oh, yeah? We'll see. <laughs> gotcha. One more hit and you're out. Prepare to feel my wrath. <laughs> God, you're corny. So, is this a typical work day for you? Nah, I usually don't have such good looking company back here. Ah, 
I'm gonna tell Allison you said that. Ugh, she's usually stuck in the office. Besides, your sister, while a hottie, isn't my type. Oh, he's. Oh, okay. Hey, is it cool that we're throwing these toys around? Aren't you guys gonna like sell them? Nah, supplier made a typo on Becky. Can't sell any of them. Cool. No harm, no foul then. Damn. Got it. Shot it. What? Damn, overshot it. What do you mean overshot it? Yo, we better wrap this up soon. Damn, overshot it. What do you mean overshot it? Damn, overshot it. What do you mean overshot it? Oh, <laughs> man, you're good. <laughs> I told you not to doubt the golden arm. <laughs> well, I'll never make that mistake again. Okay, I, I need to finish this inventory thing real quick. Your sister's probably done already. Here, let's hit the bitch's grotto. The what? Fancy name for the couch where Allison and I sit during breaks. Ah, all right, cool. Let me see what you've done with the place. Oh, hey, see that container? That's for you. Huh? It's the trout I caught yesterday at the buzzard hole. Grilled it up with my world-renowned marinade. That's actually super thoughtful. Thank you. You sound surprised. No, Cause I sorry. fucking am. I'm just not you. I didn't know you had the hots for me. Nice things for me. Oh, I'll have to fix that. Oh. Oh, thank you. I'm surprised Tessa let you hang this up. Yeah, she hates it. As long <laughs> as I don't promote my lifestyle in front of the customers, she doesn't say anything. Man. Must be exhausting to spend your days educating these people. <laughs> Here's the thing, I don't. Opening. No way! You like Duplex Duo too? Yeah, <laughs> Allison got me into him. We we're supposed to. I'm surprised Tessa let you hang this up. Hey, I hope this isn't too personal, but you ever been with anyone in Delos Crossing? I dated a guy in high school for a minute, but we had to keep it quiet. I've been with a few other people, but that shit's tricky out here. And what about you? You ever been with a guy? I mean, assuming you're into guys, which <laughs> I guess I kind of did. I'm still figuring my shit out. I'm not sure if I'm made to be with anyone, you know? Yeah, of course. And don't ever feel like you have to rush into anything. Yeah, I don't. But thank you. Do you ever get lonely in Delos Crossing? Yeah, sometimes. That's why I'm always in Juno working with the JCE. Meeting new people. I gotta make my shit happen for me. Because no one else will. Right. I feel you. Anyway, and I'm done. I gotta tell you, it's so weird to finally meet the other Ronin. You mean the OG Ronin? I was born first, you know. Is that so? 
<laughs> I thought Allison said she was. Well, our mother never actually told us, but it was me. So, why is it so weird to meet me? Because I just heard Allison tell your story so many times. She told me everything about you. The fireweed, the transition. I hope that's okay, by the way. Yeah, it's fine. She asked me first. <laughs> yeah, figures. That lady is thorough and she loves you like crazy. I know. So, yeah, uh, you were probably the first person to know about it other than Allison. I'm glad he trusted me. And it's great to finally get to know you in the flesh. You're pretty all right. <laughs> but you're not too bad yourself. I try not to be, especially around guys I'm trying to impress. So I wasn't blowing smoke when I said you should move to Juno with us. I know. I... I've got a community there. It could be yours too. Hmm. Fitting in. There's a concept. Yeah, there's a fucking concept. You have no idea how life-saving a chosen family can be. You pulled me out of the dark more times than I can count. I hear you. Hey, can I ask you a question? Of course. Shoot. Why do you care so much if I move to Juno? <laughs> Look, like I said, I, I want to get to know you. Because I'm just that fascinating, huh? <laughs> Honestly, yeah. I think you might be one of a kind, Tyler Ronan. Golly gee, Michael, I think you're swell too. Shut <laughs> up. I've got way better compliments than that. Uh, my best, right? It's cool. So, I'll get more of those if I get to know you better? <laughs> For sure. If that's something you'd be interested in. He's a cool guy. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, hey. I've been standing at that counter for an hour waiting for you two dum dums to come back. Sorry. Are you guys ready to go? Mm-hmm. I think we've done about as much damage as we can back here. Yeah. Let's go. He's a cool guy. I'll give him that. He's very open about who he is and what he wants. And he's the, uh... Huh. Interesting. Here we are. Thanks for letting me hitch a ride over. No problem. You sure we can't drive you back? Nah. You're like stretching my legs. It isn't far. But anyway, can't put the wind in a bottle. <laughs> All right. Tessa should be at her parents' grave. Not far from the entrance. Look for a big crooked tree. You can't miss it. I'm gonna go check in with my uncle. Good luck. For real. Ow! You look pretty spooked. I've never been a big fan of cemeteries. Especially after... You know. I promise after this we can chill at the house, cool? Get coming. What teams are at Crossroad? Hey, graves are back that way. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought there was two ways. So, do you ever come back? Shh, keep it down. Better? Better? Much. Why do <laughs> people always feel like they have to whisper in cemeteries? I don't know. Probably just a mirror neuron thing. A what? Monkey see, monkey do. Yeah. Uh, anyway, have you been back here at all since the funeral? No. I've never had a reason to. Thankfully. Trauma. Mom, why do we always come here? Does it bother you? No. It's just weird because we don't know any of these people. 
Uh, I mean, except Eddie's mom. It never hurts to say hello. Because they're very lonely. That's right, sweetie. And sometimes, even if you can't see them, they stay with you. Oh, here. God. Always here. Mom? You sad, sad bitch. <laughs> Always. She loved us. She did. Too bad she was fucking like crazy. Do you think she was just really scared of losing us? Maybe. Yeah. But I don't know. I mean, most parents are scared of losing their kids. Yeah, but they don't hold my gunpoint. I'm sure I don't use them as a pawn. Building a house right next to the cemetery. Hard to think of a worse <laughs> idea than that. What could go wrong? Look at Michael. Some people actually go to cemeteries willingly. People with functional family. Well, here's the crooked tree, but no Tessa. Let's check around for her parents' grave. Just to wait, is this the one we called Big Crookedy? The exact one. Why didn't we call it Gnarl's Branchy? Total missed opportunity. <laughs> because we weren't hip to basketball back then? Or CeeLo Green? Damn. I remember it going all the way up to the clouds. Everything does when you're four feet tall. Yazzie. Why does that sound familiar? Yazzie Trucking. He used to haul lumber for the sawmill. Oh, yeah. And he'd always blast the horn for us. Guess again. Julian Simmons. De Leon. That's the one. Don't tell me we missed her. Fucking eagle. Hello, Mr. Eagle. Trauma. It's, it's time. Where are you hiding, Trauma? There you are. There you are, Trauma. Can't hide from me. No repressed memories come out and out from the darkness. I can walk fine on my own. It'll be quick, okay? Then we'll get something to eat. The day of the funeral. I barely remember it. That's probably for the best. I don't think either of us are exactly eager to relive what went on behind that gate. So... I know I said we didn't have to visit her grave. But it feels like the right thing to do. Yeah, exactly. Lost in the chaos of history. What's that mean? Not sure. But Michael should know. The fuck was that? Did she just become sentient? When did Michael's uncle die? Last year. It was really hard on him. He's still feeling it. Long time no see. Do you want some company? Come on over. Make yourselves comfortable. So, how are you, um... Is this a bad time? With you? Never. Don't mind me. <laughs> I'm not really here. Thanks. Hey, I get to see your ugly mug almost every day. You're old news, lady. 
You wound me. <laughs> Can I help you guys out somehow? So what was your uncle like? Oh boy. Where do I start? Y you know that one grumpy grandpa in all the sitcoms? The one that types like a T-Rex and never leaves his recliner? <clears throat> I think I'm getting the picture. <laughs> Not yet you aren't. As grumpy as he was, they didn't make him any sweeter than him. He's the kind of guy who accepted you for where you were at, even when he didn't approve. Not many of those out there. No. Hey, can I ask you something about this place? Yeah, shoot. What's the story behind the Clinkett Memorial? May the memory of our dearly departed never be lost in the chaos of history. That was Uncle William. <laughs> lost in the chaos of history? Well, let's say you wanted room for a school or a road and didn't give a shit about ethics. Easy. You just dug up our ancestors. That shit happened a lot. God. Assholes. Yeah. And I mean, it still happens, but not as much. We have the elders to thank for that. I'll stop bugging you now. Well, I'm here if you're ever curious. Talk to you later. You bet. Hmm. Interesting. So, how are you, um, holding up? I can't even pronounce that. Everything's so I'm gonna try. I thought we'd almost be done packing by now. I'm so ready to put this place behind us. At least Mr. Hollywood Handsome over there is good company. Funny how you never mentioned what your brother looked like before he got into town. Oh, I just thought I'd surprise you. either Where she is? No. For what it's worth, I remember staring at the water during the funeral. Mama. Allison, please. I'm, I'm not going. Allison, come back. <sighs> yeah. Any hope that this would be easier than last time? Totally gone. At least this time, no one's sending me away. I'm holding you to that. Afterwards, you and I had a moment over there by the totem, right? I wonder if we could see that. Doesn't hurt to check. Yeah, that's where I went when I ran off. 
Problem. I won't let them take you away. I'm gonna tell them the truth. You swore, Allison. I'm gonna be okay. Please don't worry about me. Don't worry about us, sister. I know I'm supposed to get over this brown thing, but I really wish you'd been able to come visit that much. Yeah, me too, but you think Snowball still lives in there? Snowy owls only tend to live about ten years. Oh, rest in peace, Snowball. Barrel Brown. Must be his bomb. This spot's familiar. No dice. Not hers. Why? Where is she? How do you explain to your kids that you have a mental illness? But I understand Tessa? it would never be easy. To, there's no right way to explain that. Kids. There is no right to explain I, that you, how, how you have a mental illness. You just have to I, kind of I do it. Expecting to see. What are you? What are you doing here? What are you doing here? Feeling a little guilty, maybe? on our graves are all anyone has to remember us by letting hers just fall apart would be cruel i'm not a cruel person cruel enough to call social services on her mother i i, I wanted to protect you marianne was getting worse all the time i was afraid that if things kept going the way they were then one day we were going to end up dead no, I won't do this again. I refuse to be held responsible for her choices. Marianne was fine until you reported her. Fine. That's not true. She was getting by on handouts for years. There are only so many times you can show up high to a generous offer of employment. Assuming you show up at all. In the end, she isolated herself from everyone. She was alone and out of options. She had us! Until you threatened to have us taken away. I couldn't let her drag you down with her. She had you stealing for God's sake. Your mother never wanted to be a part of this community. She always thought she was better than the rest of us. A hmm. spoiled little girl playing fairy princess in the woods. If she just settled down with someone instead of running around with married men, well... Just ask Sam Kansky how much better that would have been for everyone. Wait, what? I... Oh, God. What happened between them? I, I wasn't thinking. Please, just forget I said anything. Tessa! All I know is whatever went on, Laura left Sam over it. But I shouldn't have said anything about that. I promised I wouldn't. I'm sorry, kids.
I don't understand. What the fuck? You were worried. And you did what you thought you had to. Get it? We both do. The situation was so fucked that, well, there probably wasn't a good answer. Thank you. I... I... No. I could have done more. Marianne was fragile. She needed help, and I... I failed her. It's my fault. She's gone. I know I've made mistakes. All I can do now is say that I'm sorry. If I could give you back your mother, I would. I don't deserve your forgiveness, especially yours, Tyler. But if there's a place for me in your lives, I'd like to be there. I have to know something first. Are you good with who I am? I've been thinking about that since you came home. I believe that my life is better for having lived it by God's word. But I also believe we don't always understand what he's saying to us. I pray for guidance. And seeing you standing here in front of me, such a strong and thoughtful young man, I think I have his answer. That means a lot to me. See. Thank you. Tessa, I know the last couple of days have been hated. I'm up for a fresh start if you are, but it's not really up to me. Tyler? I'm done losing people. And if we can't let people grow, then what the hell kind of chance do we have? Thank you. Both of you. Kids, I never knew your mother's whole story, but it was obviously very painful. She always said you two were the only good luck she'd ever had. I'm going to try harder to forgive her. I hope you can as well. If you two are in town tomorrow, come by the cafe. Lunch is on me. They're gonna be coconut cake on the menu? You know, I think there just might be. <laughs> I'll see you two tomorrow then. We'll be there. Come on. That was something, huh? Yeah, it was. I had pretty much given up on her, but I guess sometimes people change. I know. I feel like a total ass right now. You shouldn't. She needed to hear all of that. Yeah, you're probably right. Still, I might bring in a peace offering my first day back. Any ideas? Uh, Jesus stuff? Hmm. Maybe I'll just finally bring back that book I borrowed six months ago. <laughs> you want to sit down for a bit? You know what? Yes, my glitchy sister. Not a bad view, right? Yeah. I get now why they put cemeteries in nice spots. Takes a little bit of the sting off. Listen. I know this has been hard. I'm really grateful you saw it through with me. Fireweed was great, but there was no one really there for me like that. You know? You're the only one. Hey. Brothers and sisters. Right. But it no. has been way more no, I really like that. sisters lately. Which is why I'm trying to say thank you. You really don't have to. You saved my life, Allison. Only for you to end up locked up in fireweed for the rest of your childhood. Wait. Are you still blaming yourself for that? Don't. It was my choice. It's just... Yeah. I stole your life, Tyler. And then I totally wasted it. That's not true. You're on your way to Denali. Michael's gonna be a famous chef. And, and what am I doing? Nothing. Stop putting yourself down, girl. Nothing. You've been working on that accounting degree. And your art's good. Really good. Stop putting yourself down. As soon as we figure this shit out, we're gonna sell the house. And you're gonna go to Juno. You're gonna kick ass. You make it sound so easy. No. No. We never had a shot at easy, but 
we always pull through, right? Yeah. You're right. Hey. Wherever Ranger Tyler ends up next, he better come down from the hills to visit us city folk every now and then. You hear? For sure. And anyway, it's not gonna be for a while. We've got time. Oh yeah, of course. We do. So I guess we know the story now, huh? No. Ariane we was don't. done with Delos. Delos was done with her. We don't know the whole story. Maybe she was too proud, but she worked so hard for so long. And when she reached the end of her rope, no one was there to help her. There's still parts of the story that are not Tessa answered. Ready. And when she heard social services was coming, she... She... Gave up. But killed her kids? Really? I don't know. Things are not adding up. It still feels like there's something missing, right? You're never gonna understand what was going through her mind. I'll bet even she didn't. There's gotta be something more. Something. It's probably always going to feel that way. Ooh, I'm going to fall asleep the second I hit the couch. You better rally. We still have to do some cleaning before bed. Uh, do we have to? Hey. Whoever packs the most gets the big couch tonight. What the Shit. fuck? Allison. I'll get the fire extinguisher. the so-called hunter. <sighs> there, there was a, a guy. He smashed me in the face with the door. What guy? I'm not sure. I couldn't see straight, and, and he was all in black. Down on board. I don't know, but I'm going to find out. Some kind of work boot, maybe fishing boots. It's Sam, was it? Damn, he ran straight for it. No stops, no turns. He was on a mid trail lens here. It looks like he jumped into the gully. You think he followed it down to the lake? Yeah, I mean, if he'd gone the other way, he'd have come right back to the house. Hey, what are you doing? Are there footsteps on the other side? Yeah. That must be where he climbed out. Oh, he's long gone. Damn. Well, at least he left us the junker. So, did Eddie teach you? Did he really have to smack? He went looking under. This gas can was already here this morning. He didn't bring it with him. 
asshole even dumped the drawers? Huh. At least you were spared. The moon. A damn broken door. Let him right in. Where'd she go? Do you remember anything about his face? I couldn't see it. He had it just like he left it. Nothing. He didn't try to get in here. Nothing's been forced open. So he didn't try to get into the house at all? No, he just tried to burn down our barn. For some unknown reason. Still no sign of him. You still hurting? Nah, worst case, I've got a nasty bruise. These things are really built to last. Oh, great, more to clean. He went looking under the rug? Hey, come check this out. Is that a box under the barn? Yeah, what the hell? I think this is where the fire started. So he was trying to burn whatever's inside? We should check it out. I'm gonna need to remove a few more planks to get to it. Hmm. Where could we possibly find a tool to do that? Huh. These planks look newer than the rest. That corner used to be all dirt. Bird chickens. She was always saying how she was gonna make this place a real homestead. Little house on a tundra. This guy went on a tear. I wasn't there two seconds ago. God, he really turned this place upside down. Guess we know how he made the hole. Let's step back. I'll be fine. What the fuck is this? Looks like a fucking well, witch box. I only know one person who'd bother to decorate a storage box like this. Marianne. Let's open it. Three digits. Any ideas? Mm. Marianne was never really a numbers kind of person. Finding anything? Just give me a sec. We wrote a shit ton of stories.
Let's be easy, huh? I did it. Guessing she didn't know how much of an ass he'd turn out to be. she wanted to keep us. That's everything. What the hell? So, Marianne hid a box under the barn. A box full of letters from our deadbeat dad. It didn't look like he tried to get into the house. Yeah, he knew to look in the barn. He must have known they were there. Or just knew our mother really well. So, I... I think he was wearing fishing gear. Fishing gear? Does that mean... Let's not jump to any conclusions. Half the town's probably got the same gear. Drama. We don't have any reason to go out there. Here that night? In the woods? No. It was just I I saw. How the hell did I actually see? The Mad Hunter. What? No. That that was the Mad Hunter. What? What are you talking about? That night. I thought I saw the Mad Hunter in the woods, but I guess it was just some asshole. Some asshole who just fucking stood there and watched while our mother chased me with a shotgun. Do you think it was the same guy? Maybe. I mean, it had to be him, right? They were wearing the same fishing gear. Yeah, unless everyone who wants to mess with us is coordinating outfits. And wait, he was here once before, wasn't he? A few days before Marianne died? Maybe? Hold on. Do you feel that? Tyler, not there. Our mother fought with someone on the dock, about us. We need to know if it was the same guy. 
But what if it's not that memory? What if it's... I can't go through that again. We have to take that chance. But do we really? I mean, someone just tried to burn our barn down. Yeah, and that means we've got to be close to something. I'm not going on that dock. Just one more time. Just one more time. Please. There's always just one more. Every time it seems like we're done with this, something new pops up. What if this is the only chance to figure out who our father is? Then we go on living our lives without him, just like we always have. Come on, we need to know the truth. For her. What if I don't want to know the truth, huh? Did you ever consider that? No. You just push and push and... You have to take responsibility for your part in Marianne's death. What? How... How... How can you say that to me? I didn't. But I, I did, right? Earlier, to Eddie. But I, I swear I didn't just say that to you. So we can't even trust our own voices now? God, I, I don't know. I'll do it. Let's go. that would happen we almost had it though that was us watching marianne fight with that guy try to focus on him all right don't think about anything else come on come on I've just been trying to survive. If you want to make sure I don't get desperate, you could help us out. Lend me some money. What happened? Why did it stop? I can't, Tyler. But we were so damn close. Her nose is going to start bleeding. I'm sorry. But I'm done. That's it? You're just giving up, just like that? You can't do this. We owe her. Marianne is gone, Tyler. And nothing we do is going to change that. Don't go, please. You can't keep running from this alley. Or it's only gonna get worse. Jesus, come on. you it's not gonna happen i've got everything i need to nail your ass in that barn and just what do you think happens after that <sighs> what do you mean well if those kids have a father do you really think there's a court out there that'll let you keep them no you have no claim to my children 
get the hell off my property. Now, if you ever come back here, I'm going to kill you! Allison... That was interesting. It just leaves you with more questions. Like, are the hallucinations just the child's? Is it the mother's? Is it not the mother's? Is it not the child's? Is it the mother who's imposing on that, manifesting that? Obviously, she's mentally unstable, and but the thing is, she's poor. She is a starving artist. So they want to make a career about it. Yet she's also like extremely fucked up. Drinks, does drugs, lives in a fancy. There's so many like things to this story that just I don't know where it's gonna go. I'm gonna wait for the next episode. But I might wait for tomorrow. And then continue it. But thanks for watching, everyone. Thanks for joining me on this wild ride of Tell Me Why. And uh, make sure to subscribe, follow, and uh, we post on YouTube. So, And also uh, Twitch. And before I stream, I'll be posting to Twitter. So, see you on the internet, guys.